Hey, 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 my lovelies, my life pursuers, my chicas, and my fashionistas. Happy, happy Saturday. Y'all know what today is. Self-love Saturday. Yes. Hey, it's me, your girl, Pam Dorsey, CEO of Pam Dorsey Enterprises. I am your purpose pusher, pushing you into your purpose, helping you to authentically, boldly, and confidently walk into your destiny. I am a master motivator. I am a life pursuer sewer and an affirmation specialist. Today, I'm coming by for two things and hopefully I can just stay within those two things. <laughs> All right, self-love Saturday. Yes, y'all know I'm big on self-love, but Self-Love Saturdays around Pam Dorsey Enterprises world. Y'all know every Saturday I put out my post about the Self-Love Saturday selfie, right? I want to see your beautiful faces flooding my timeline using the hashtag Self-Love Saturday Selfie. So I am asking you to do that for me today, but I want to go a little deeper into why I'm asking that. And I want to make it plain and perfectly clear that I understand self-love goes way deeper than just a selfie, right? Anybody can flash a selfie, but that don't mean you love yourself. It's just a picture, right? But I go a little deeper into the realm of self-love. And let me tell you why. I heard a um, powerful um, comment, phrase, that was spoken at a at an event, a women's empowerment event um, this past December. And that was like, that makes perfect sense. It all helps me to, to make, um, to help others understand why self-love Saturday is big to me. And here's why. Your struggle prepares you for your purpose. Self-love Saturday is a part of Pam Dorsey Enterprises world, right? And self-love itself is a big part of what, what I do and why I do it. And to go back to the quote, the phrase, your struggle prepares you for your purpose. This is coming from the chick that has not always loved or liked herself. This is coming from the chick that had negative self-esteem. Not just low, but negative self-esteem, right? So this is coming from a chick that had to go through the process of learning to like herself, of learning to love what she sees when she sees when she looks at herself in the mirror so self-love to me goes way deeper than just a selfie but why not take a picture and love on you because of all that you have gone through all that you have pushed yourself into growing from right the negativity of not loving yourself, not liking yourself, the lack of self-esteem, that is a process. So I pat myself on the back that not only did God help me to get to this place, but I had to allow him to help me grow from there to here. So that, in a nutshell, is a big part, a big reason why I every Saturday you're going to hear me talk about self-love Saturday selfies. But again, it goes way deeper than just a selfie. Self-love means I love all of me, flaws and all, right? Not just the parts of me that I think are great, but all of me. Fabulously flawed, right? <laughs> self-love is... <laughs> Get your butt out of here. <laughs> Self-love is indeed the best love. I can't give out to anyone anything that I have not first given to Pam. Yes. So that, that in, it, in its own is why I'm big on self-love because I haven't always loved this chocolate child. Point number one. Number two, I'm going to jump to my next subject because Gavin and Grandma are doing something they probably shouldn't be doing and I got to go check on them, okay? Point number two, y'all hear me daily, daily affirmations, right? Girl, you better affirm yourself. And if you don't have the ebook, please get a copy in your hands. Thank you in advance. 
I want to, I've started something new where I have you vote on your favorite affirmation of the week. So I send that out through email blast. If you're not a, v, a part of my VIP email, get on the list. The caption is there. Click on that and it'll take you straight there. Um, and I also uh, circulate your option to vote through all of my social media platforms. So basically what I'm doing is I want to know which affirmation touched you the most this week, which one touched you right where you are in life this week. I want to know what was your favorite affirmation of the week. It's easy. It's simple. You're anonymous. All I get is the answer. I don't know who sent it to me. And then on Sundays, after I get all my votes in on Saturday, I'll post that what was the favorite affirmation of the week collectively and then we start rolling again on Monday right because words have power but the belief in the words that you're speaking over yourself and to yourself that my dear is where the manifestation lies yeah so yes, it's one thing to say it and speak it and send it out into the atmosphere, but oh, when you start to believe that thing that you're speaking, there lies the manifestation. That's when you begin to speak your life into existence. Yes, honey, that is when life begins. Yes, honey, I love it. <laughs> yes, okay, so... I told you I was coming to you for two things. Number one, self-love Saturday selfie. I want you to bombard my timelines, IG, Facebook, on a post, in a, in a story, however you want to do it. Just tag me in it. Number two, cast your vote for your favorite affirmation of the week. I'm your girl, Pam Dorsey, CEO of Pam Dorsey Enterprises. I want you to enjoy a Saturday as fabulous as you are. Until next time, ooh, y'all, this twist out is doing all kinds of stuff today. Until next time, y'all, purple kisses.